Well, it's all systems go around here at the moment. Firstly, I've just had some skin cancers burn off my face, so I look like a leopard. That's got nothing to do with this video. The International, we're just about to tow it up the driveway using Toxic. Got to load it onto a car trailer, and we're going to move it up about an hour north from here. Um, I've got a 289 and a C4 strapped into the tray. The tray's strapped onto the chassis with some ratchet straps. The cab is sort of mounted. The tray is not really mounted, well, not mounted at all. It sort of runs. You've seen where I've got up to it, up to with it. What's actually happening is that this place just here where we've lived for 20 odd years with our family, brought our kids up, it's on the market. We're about to sell it. So some changes happening. So this beauty's going up to the few acres that we've just bought. So in this video, you're gonna see us struggling to load this truck up, drag it up, take it off. And you'll probably see a few of those videos, to be honest. You might get bored with watching me load cars onto trailers, but that's what's happening. So you're not gonna see a lot of me building stuff for a while, and I apologize for that. But what I will entertain you with is trying to kill myself with loading trucks and unloading them with dodgy equipment. And, hey, stay tuned. Anything happens, you'll be the first to see it, other than whoever it is that comes to as my first responder. Anyway, let's do it. Okay, well there she stands. I've never seen it like that before. The tray will probably sit lower and it'll go, definitely go forward, but that's the tray that I'm going to use. Um, so yeah, Toxic just towed her up the driveway. Absolutely no safety mechanisms in place whatsoever. My son jumped in it. It's got flat tyres. Parked in a bus stop at the moment. Um, hey, that's what you're doing, the big jobs, isn't it? So that's what uh, she looks like. There's Toxic. There's whatever it's called. I'll just pause this for a second. Yeah, made it up in one bit, one piece. All strapped together with ratchet straps, but hey, it's in one piece. So there she stands. I don't know, looking all right. It's a completely different build to Toxic, so a little bit different. But yeah, bruh. Not too bad. Now we just got to get her on the trailer. Tra transporter at 100 or so k's without falling off unload it again and then do it all again with a few other cars enough jitter chatter let's do it and of course life's never going to be easy so i got audrey on the battery charger at the moment hopefully she'll start let's see Old Kmart battery charger to the rescue. If you've got a flat battery in your 1964 Falcon, you go and get your 40 year old battery charger. Guaranteed to work every time.
Okay, how's that for some serious redneck gear going on, eh? Towing the car with the trailer. Hey, it worked. It's not stupid if it works, so back off, pal. Well, we're getting there. In Sydney at the moment, there's um, a lot of smoke in the air. Apparently it's some of the worst air pollution, uh, worst air quality in the world at the moment. The fifth, the fifth worst in the world at the moment. Uh, been doing back burning, so fire control, which is great, it's always appreciated, but there seems to be cloud cover and not much wind and it's just been sitting there, so the air's quite thick with smoke. Um, it's also hot. It's um, We're coming up to some pretty warm days. I think it's gonna be in the, the 31, 32, 33 temperatures soon. So I'm not sure what it is today, but it's only about, I don't know, 10 o'clock in the morning and it's pretty warm. So um, yeah, good air quality and temperature. Yeah. Just what you want to be doing when you're winding the trailer on. Oh, we got it here. It's coming up, hasn't fallen off so far. We get it up, tie it up on here, tie it on, travel it through 100 or so Ks, take it back off. What could possibly go wrong? Stay tuned. Okay, she's all strapped on. I'll drive down the road a bit, check the tire, tire pressures on the trailer, give it the make sure it's still tight test after a few k's, move the engine forward a bit, try to get the weight more forward on the axle of the um, International to bring the weight forward on the axles of the trailer. There's a little bit of extra weight on the back than the front which I can't do much about. Um, so it will be lifting the drawbar a little bit but it's only a tiny little bit so I can deal with that bonnet strap down so it doesn't depart as we're driving along pretty sure everything on the motor is pretty secure on the 289 got the grill and the running boards and stuff um, straps underneath there a little bit of a tip it's one thing I like to do when I put my ratchet straps I like to tie up the excess loop with a cable tie rather than try and use it for anything more um, just stops it getting tangled up and so on pretty much ran out of ratchet straps here but yeah toxic sitting all right I think we'll be okay we'll know in a little while well we made it it wasn't it wasn't without its issues bit of rope snapped so it could have, the bonnet could have come off on the enter but it didn't and we were leaking a bit of transmission fluid onto the exhaust so there's a bit of white smoke coming out behind but let's face it we are called toxic so we lift up to our name that's actually not a new thing tried to fix it haven't and then um because i am just lazy no i'm not really um i just sort of take the enter off the trailer the easy way so i um undid the straps and pushed it backwards depending on the cable to do the job and um, well 
<laughs> when the cable snapped, luckily I'd, I'd planned that I was going to run into the fence post behind me. I actually didn't run into the fence post behind me. There's some gates stacked up there. And lucky, lucky I didn't kill a chicken. But I um, might have missed the fence post, which is probably good because I might have broken it. But I did take out some fence panels. So it's here. All is successful. I, th I consider that 100% successful. So now we're going to use the hillbilly tow method uh, to pull it out of the fence. I've um, hooked the truck to the trailer and hooked a tow cable to the trailer to pull the truck out of the fence without running over the chickens. The chickens are ours now, by the way, which is pretty cool. So this is it. It's not perfect, but it's damn near close enough for me. You'll see more of this property later, but this is going to be our new home. All three acres of it. I'm not going to sort of invade the current owner's personal space too much, but you can see a bit. And this spot where I'm standing right now, this area here, that's a creek by the way, this area here, this is going to be the home of my new shed. And I like mandarins, and I like beer with lemon. There's a lemon tree there, there's a mandarin tree over there. Heaven, winning, 